Welcome to my girlfriend's house. We're here today to show you some exciting and new projects. But before we get started, I'm going to go through your supplies that you'll be needing to make your job a lot easier. And of course, the first thing you could not work without is a pair of scissors, but you need a good pair of scissors. You need a pair of little wire cutters. And I like these because they fit right in my hand and of course because they're pink. You need a box cutter, and when you use your box cutter, you always want to make sure you cut away from you. Not towards you, but away. You're going to need sticky doos, and sticky doos are a double-sided um, double sticky tape, and it's kind of spongy, and this allows you to stick anything that you want to hold in position. These are awesome. In fact, if you've never used these, and you order these, you're going to wonder how your life survived before these. You need a roll of adding machine tape. Not thermal tape, but just regular adding machine tape. You need a ribbon shredder. And, of course, I'm going to show you why you need all these as we get into our projects. But a ribbon shredder is awesome. You need an ink pen to write on your adding machine tape with. You need a tape dispenser. You can have a little one like this, but I don't even own a little one like this. I personally prefer the big tape. And this holds a roll of packing tape. It's awesome. And we're going to be working with several different kinds of ribbon. This happens to be an organza chiffon ribbon, and it's six inches wide, and it comes on the roll, and it comes in many colors. And, of course, they're all online at mygirlfriendshouse.com. We're going to be working with tool netting. Tool netting is fun and easy to work with and possibly one of the easiest tools you'll be using today. We're going to be using a wired ribbon, several different wired ribbons. We're going to be using a ruffled organza ribbon that's really pretty done up. And then we're going to be using various different tying ribbons. And your tying ribbon can be a polymetallic ribbon. It can be a raffia ribbon. It can be our mesh ribbon that so many people love that comes in a variety of colors. But the key to your narrow ribbon that you're going to be using is to make sure that it's a strong ribbon because whatever you attach to your packages is going to be tied with your tying ribbon. So that's why I call it tying ribbon. You need a clipboard. Mine just happens to have lips on it. And then you need paper to put on your clipboard. And then if you're going to be displaying your product, you need some jewels. To display your product with and around and you'll see how we use these as we get into our projects. We are able to emboss ribbon for you. If you want anything put on ribbon, we can do that. And you'll have to go to mygirlfriendshouse.com for that information. We're going to be using shrink wrap and this happens to be a shrink wrap pack. And this is one of my favorite packages that we carry at mygirlfriendshouse.com because it gives you a variety of different sizes of shrink bags. It's a great buy also. We're going to be using a little bit of confetti, stars, money, hearts, lips. And then you want to have a basket or a container with tissue paper in it. And you want to have a little bit of a variety of tissue paper. I'm going to be using some pearl necklaces, and these happen to be by the dozen. And then you want to have a little container with some cellophane bags in it, so you have a little bit of a variety, instead of saying, thinking, oh, I need a bag, and running out to maybe your local Walmart. I had to do that one time because I was not where I had all my supplies. I needed to wrap a gift. I went in and I purchased a card, a gift bag a bow, and tissue paper, and it cost me almost $14. In fact, it cost me more 
than what I was wrapping. So you want to make sure that you're prepared and you have everything you need. You want to have gift certificates and you want to roll them up like this and put a little ribbon around them. So when you are doing your packaging, you put a gift certificate in each package. And this gift certificate is going to be worth $10 in free merchandise. When you call me within 30 days of receiving the gift that you've just received. And you can do a complimentary makeover, um, a, <clears throat> excuse me, a demo appointment, some kind of appointment where they have maybe one or two people in to share it with them and that's when they get the ten dollars in free product. You need little gift cards so you don't have to run out and buy one for three or four dollars and these are for your customers or you can use enclosure cards like that your local florist use, uses. When you are doing baskets, you are going to be using the styrofoam peanuts maybe in the bottom of your basket so you don't have to use a whole lot of tissue paper. These work great. I'm just going to put these out of the way here. And then if you want to do a nice display, you can have some beautiful display fabric and we carry many, many colors, a lot more colors than this. And of course the silver looks beautiful. So we have your display fabric that you're going to be needing. This here is what we call a dream book. And for those of you that are going to be doing a lot of packaging and maybe going to corporations or businesses, small businesses to sell your gifts, you can take pictures of your gifts instead of taking in all your different projects that you've completed you're going to put your pictures in your little brag book uh, dream book and so on and you can just stick this in your purse and then of course you can have several different items in your car ready to show if you need to and then you need some cellophane rolls you can have a Christmas and you can have an everyday. And then you need some foil paper. And as you can see, we carry a lot of different beautiful foil papers. And this is going to be used during our projects and you'll be able to see how we use the foil paper. And then these here are little holiday picks. And again, your local florist uses these. And I'm not saying that you want to use everything your local florist uses, but you know, when you think of buying a gift for somebody, sometimes you think, oh, I'll just send a plant, which will last a lot longer than flowers. But uh, if you have these tools available, why not get what you have?